Over the past few seasons we've seen Freo do Retro Round, the Bulldogs brought back the Robo Dog in 2022, and Hawthorne have already announced that they'll be wearing a Retro Guernsey in 2023. I believe that Retro Round will become a new themed round that every team will be involved in for 2023. So here are my suggestions for what each team should wear. Before we begin, remember to check out the link to the new Patreon page in the description and help support the channel further if you can. For Adelaide we've gone for this 90s crow jumper, one of my favourite Adelaide designs and something fairly different to most other designs they've worn over the years. For Brisbane, we've gone for the classic V-shaped bear design. They've worn this back in Heritage Round in the mid-2000s, but it is a classic and is probably the one design that isn't represented in their modern day jumpers. For Carlton, we've chosen this 90s pre-season jumper. Again, it's quite different to their typical jumpers and hasn't been worn in a Heritage Round previously. Collingwood is an easy choice for me. I've said it before, but I do really like this swooping magpie jumper and kind of wish they'd bring it back permanently in some way. I've gone with Essendon's wide red sash jumper that was meant to be a clash jumper. Look, the Bombers don't really give you much to work with as they've pretty much worn the same jumper for their entire history, so it really was slim pickings here. I think Frio's retro Guernsey for 2023 is pretty obvious. They've been working through the old jumpers in chronological order, so this tri-panel design is pretty much unofficially confirmed, which is handy for me as it's one of the few missing from my Frio collection. For the Cats, I've gone with this late 90s, early 2000s, 2000s away jumper. They did wear it for a few seasons so there's probably a few more memories in this jumper than some of the others I considered. For the Suns we've gone with their wave jumper which was their first away jumper. This one is still better than their current home jumper so maybe if they bring it back for retro round it might inspire them to bring it back permanently. For GWS we've gone with their very first jumper which was the Team GWS Guernsey before they had decided on an identity or colours. It's kind of cool that now both Gold Coast and GWS actually have have older jumpers so they can take part in these retro rounds. So Hawthorne actually did a poll to decide which jumper they would wear in Retro Round in 2023. I'm not sure which jumper won, but I think this Blue Diamonds Guernsey had a strong lead last time I checked. For Melbourne, I chose this somewhat obscure pre-season design. Obviously the best retro jumper they had is the Flaming Demon jumper, but since they wore that only a couple seasons ago, I thought it'd be better to go in a different direction. It's a similar situation for North. Their best retro jumper is of course the Bounding Roo, but they wore that only a few seasons ago, so we've gone with this slightly different 90s pre-season. Should Port Adelaide be allowed to wear the prison bars for Retro Round? Yes, but they probably won't be allowed to, so instead it makes sense for them to wear their classic Premiership jumper and the original home jumper. For Richmond, this is another unique and obscure pre-season design that I actually think looks alright, so it'd be good to see them bring this one back. For St Kilda, we've got the old stripes design from the early to mid 2000s. This one was itself originally based on an old heritage Guernsey, so it works for two different eras of Saints history. Another obscure pre-season design this time for the swans this probably isn't a great design but i think half the fun of retro round is the so bad it's good factor which is a perfect segue into our next team the west coast eagles we had to bring back the oko monstrosity for whatever reason i just get the impression that the club have too big of an ego to actually wear this jumper again where teams like frio and hawthorne are embracing that fun factor of these weird retro designs i just feel like west coast don't have that self-deprecating nature but hopefully they they proved me wrong. Last up is the Bulldogs, another unique pre-season design, so obscure that I couldn't even find a photo of a player wearing this jumper. I actually really like this alternate take on the Robo Dog design, so hopefully they bring this one back, even just for a retro game. So those are some of my picks for Retro Round in 2023. I'd love to hear your choices in the comments below, but until next time, I'll see you guys later.